Hey guys, it's me Dave back on my monster feed the beast LP. Um in episode 20, I I did put in the description that there was a, a world download. I didn't mention it in the video because it came up after the video had already been uploaded, but uh, it's it's there. So if you want to check that out, uh, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna crush down some bees. I want to get into getting these uh, the extra bees machines set up, just so that. Uh, and I kind of was messing around with this room, and I'll show you what I did up here. So I'm gonna bring all the bees up here. They're gonna be up here on the top, and I don't have my jetpack. <laughs> uh, they're gonna be all up on the top there. I bet all the bee machines are going to be on the inside, so I'll probably put some more windows up. I forgot that I put my uh, jetpack in here to charge. So, there we go. So this is where all the bees are going to be. I, I mean, I just moved these guys here. There's no flowers. Here's a flower. Enjoy your flower bee. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be a thing. Um, and I was messing around with this room in here, and I just have these things here. I've, I've contemplated making... I want to... Uh, when I started doing this, I thought, maybe I'll make this look kind of like honeycomb-ish. Maybe I will. Um, but I have these tanks on the ground, and this one currently is being filled with uh, seeds. I have the squeezer going, tons of pumpkin seeds. And that's just kind of doing its thing. But I can't see the liquid, which is what I wanted. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this. I'm going to put this the seed oil in here for now um, I'm gonna use the railcraft tanks I think for that oh, sorry I just coughed there for a second so I'm gonna get rid of these I'm gonna make the rail railcraft tanks but in the meantime and I need to get rid of this too so I need to what I need to do is get liquids into here so maybe I'll do that. Well, okay. First, let's do this. Redstone. What we need to do is we need to make um, the... Where is it? The B. The gene pool. Yeah. The gene pool. What's this going to take? Bronze? What do we have for bronze? Oh, we got tons of bronze. Uh, I want to get some of the bees out of the way because they're just kind of. And then glass, glass. We'll grab a bunch of glass here. Um, so I can get them out of the way, and I'll 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 put the the B and A into a tank. But uh, so yeah, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the liquids into, and I'll put like a little. I like the, the AE system. I, I'm thinking in my head, but not out loud, so it's a little confusing. I'm going to use the AE system to hold the liquids, not this. And I'll have little monitors, and then I don't have to have like a huge thing like this on the floor. I'll have just a little monitor there. But, uh, let's go like this. And to get the genie pool, we need to go like this. Oh, I already have one. That's whatever. Um, so that'll make... I don't know what the hell. Make a couple of those. Uh, there we go. So, this guy... We don't have any freaking copper. The speed and the haste on my boots just, just doesn't make me run very fast. I don't know what the deal is. Um, boom. Let's grab that. We'll grab a couple of these because we're probably going to need them. <coughs> And then genetic machine is that. We're going to need iron, bing, and lapis, bing. Oh, I also have my um, quarry back up and running. So, And I made a 64-bit, bam, uh, 64K storage. Uh, so I had to put that up just because I was running out of specific stuff. So I needed, I needed that in my life. I'll take you and we're gonna make you boom! Yeah, why don't we make two of them? 
S and G. So this is pumping along, making me some leather. Last episode we did that. Very nice. I love it. Doesn't make sense, but who cares? One, two, three, four. Plop you in there. And we got the gene pool. I think the gene pool is what we need. Yeah. Let's break it. Um, and I need a drum. What are we missing? This. Boop. Drum. Uh, and so I did start to work on getting the fluid storage up and running. What am I missing? Oh, we got plenty of stuff here. So I'm gonna work on that. I'll I'll do that off camera because I don't. It's gonna take a little while. You have to make like a thousand of those stupid things. But that way I'll have uh, BNA as well as uh, seed oil and honey all in here on one. I'll, I'll put the I'll put the display right here. I'll move this window up. <clears throat> move all the windows up, and then I'll put the display right here. And uh, you'll see all three of those things. And these things will just dump into the system. It'll be perfect. Um, so let's plop you down. You get tons of power, which is great. I didn't mean to jump there, but that was hilarious. Um, and just so that we can get this rolling, we're going to do... We're going to do this. <clears throat> Put you there. It'll work. Oh, hole there. I'm going to get some... I have a plethora of just crap bees laying around. Right here! And actually, I want to use a hopper and dump these in there. Is there a hopper in here? There is. And a nice chest. <clears throat> so... Uh, I'll get this running, and then we'll doot. Go like this. Push those all out. That will create BNA, which we need. We need a ton of it. And then I'll start to slowly not fill this. Probably because it has to be drained from the bottom. Which is fine, we can do that. Oops. There we go. And look at that. Beautiful. Liquid DNA. I call it BNA because it's from bees, but you get it. So then we'll just. We'll grab all these crap bees that we don't need. And, uh, we'll burn them off. Free up some space here. Wondrous. Hey, look at this. Boop. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the ME system up and running for liquids. Bring some liquid display things over here. And, uh, yeah. We'll get going on that. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Laggy. There we go. Um, so what I did was I made a fluid import bus, fluid terminal. I made some of the cables. And then over here, I have a 16K fluid storage. So we're going to see how this works. What I want, though, is a bucket. Because I think I have to use a bucket... I think I have to use a bucket to get some of the fluid. I need to auto auto set this stuff up. It's ridiculously annoying to to do. Um, let's do the BNA. Get a, can't. How do I get a bucket of this stuff? Because what is this going to need? This is going to need me to like. Mm, bloop in there, right? 
I don't understand. Maybe it doesn't have a bucket's worth. Let me get a bucket of this. What the hell? Alright, I guess we'll just wing it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pop this guy off. Just so I can move him. These drums are amazing. They're just great. So we're going to go we're going to go straight down here. That's not what I want. Nope. Not far enough. There we go. Oops. Whatever. Uh and then we're going to go put that there cuz we still want to be able to walk underneath this. I don't recall doing that. This guy's still not being used. I don't have him. I can probably get rid of him. Uh, there we go. And like that. Okay. So we're gonna just pop up here. I'm gonna put you there temporarily. You there temporarily. This is just going to be for testing. Probably have to go underneath. And flip you around so that you are importing. Fluid import bus. Why don't you import? Can it not import from those types of things? And why isn't this lit up? Power. Why don't you import? I don't understand. Connected into the system. The system has the availability of liquid. Ugh, let me look this up. Be right back. Okay, figured it out. So the drum has to be siphoned out, which then will go into there. It's the fluid terminal. So the, the, it has to be pulled out of something. So what we'll do is we'll set that up with these. Um, and then put into the AE system. So that's that's how it has to be done, which is fine. That's that's nothing. Uh, and then you can see over here, bam, one type, ten of blah blah blah. Cool. Probably, I'll end up making the sixty-four, a couple of the sixty-fours, just so that um, we don't run into problems. Let me make a daytime real quick. But, uh, what I would like, though, is if the fluid terminal, I wanted it to show, like, the picture of it. So, not gonna get that, but that's, that's whatever. What the hell? Break, break, break. So that's, that's cool. We'll put... We'll just put this guy right here. Boop. That way you can come over and be like, oh, there's liquid DNA in there. Awesome. Okay. Do, do, do. It's kind of stupid on the ground there, and I really wish I could see how much is in there. Maybe I'll mess around with it. If you know how to like show me how much is in there, that would be a lot more helpful. Um, so let's do this real quick. Because there's stuff in this seed one. And I need to move it. it. Needs to be moved into the system. <laughs> Fluid storage is a thing. There we go. So let's go like this. So we don't have to use a ton of 
piping. We want you to send all of your goods into here. And we want you to then send it into the system. BAM! Seed oil! And then... Why is there still stuff in there? Like, why is that? Why? Oh, apparently it's not there anymore. Oh well. Okay. So, let me clean this up. Tidy this up. I'm going to move those guys up there. As well as get the seed extraction going and the B BNA is this still running? No. The BNA uh, oh, running and then get that into the AE system. Uh, the seed extraction I can automate because uh, the tree farm thing over there has pumpkins growing. So I can automate that to just bring it into the system, dump it into dump it into there, which I may end up uh, I may end up moving all these guys. So this is my, my Lux Princess. I'll move all those guys out of there and then uh, bring all of the machines over here, I think. It'll just make more sense because it'll be closer. So, let me pop these all off. That way we have the seed oil. I don't know what these do. I don't know. So, let me clean this up and I will be right back. Alright, so what I'm doing now... I'm thinking... Yeah. Uh, I've got the room a little bit... Um... A little bit more. Not changed at all, but uh, I can. What I can do is I can put the export liquid export bus directly on the bottom of the, like the, at least the gene pool. I'm gonna move uh, the squeeze. Excuse me. Let's squeeze it right now. Um, I don't know why that's there or that. So we'll put boop squeezer there. And then fluid import bus. Hopefully this works the same way. Without issue. Uh, seeds. And what I can do with this is I can just import for export the seeds into the top of it. Which would be nice. So it doesn't look. Uh, nope, it's pulling out. So let's see here. Yep, it's going up. Sweet. This is this is so much cleaner, nicer, beautifuler. But what I'm gonna want to do is put you there. Perfecto. Um, so now the next piece of El Puzzle. <laughs> uh, my wife's a Spanish teacher and she freaks out when I'm just... I use stupid Spanglish versions. Um, I'm not going to automate that. I, I, don't, I don't think I want to do... I don't, I don't want to go to that level. The BNA. I'm going to just... I'm going to manually put it in with a... With a... Thing. A hopper in a chest, uh, just because it's it's kind of difficult to automate those bees because they all have different values. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, the next piece is to export seeds into here. So let's do that. Um, grab a seed. We will export in stacks. I don't think there's any in the system. Oh, there is. 
awesome. Uh, let's go like this. And we'll put these back into the system. The ME system, man, it just makes everything so much neater, tidy, beautifuler. Bam, that's full. And seed oil. It's 10B. Why do I have MB there and B there? I don't, I don't get it. Oh well. Uh, I still have to dump this drum in there. And what I think I might do is just have like a little setup right here that is for fluid import. But I'll do it in the other room, and I'll just be able to come up and plop a drum down on it. Uh, next is this guy. Do I have a fluid import? Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is I need this drum to let's go like this and like this. I need to empty this drum basically is what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's definitely not at all what I thought I was going to place there. Let's click that. It's draining. It's gone. It's now a normal guy again. Beautiful. Oh, this is so great. This is just like a such a great setup. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get rid of the grass in here. It's not going to be grass. I just need to figure out what I'm going to put there. Uh, okay. And then this will be the squeezer. And I'll automate the centrifuge. Is that up? Oh. I'll automate the centrifuge and the squeezer to dump the honey into the system. So uh, that's what I will work on next. Um, but I think I'm going to end this episode here because it's just going to be the same exact thing over and over. Um, I did move these guys up here, set them up with my uh, my auto my auto guy that just kind of does this thing. Uh, these will eventually be set up to import into the system. Not the bees, but the honeycomb that they get and anything else. But the bees will, I'll end up keeping somewhere to be beanated. So, I'm going to set this up, get this going, and uh, we'll be back in the next episode. So, I thank you for tuning in. I'm Dave from the Kodo. Check out my channel for some more LPs as well as some tutorials. And like always, good luck and have fun.